this will be um so this is a look at the uh, fourth nmn human trial that recently we got data back on uh this um, trial here was on older men and hold on one so it was on older men uh japanese older men actually but older men is key here so um, they did a 12-week uh, placebo double-blind testing human trial uh, human, clinical, human clinical trial of uh, NMN. Uh, this was a lower dosage, so I would have liked to seen a higher dosage. I think this was around 250 milligrams. Um, I would have liked to seen a thousand, which is what David Sinclair suggested, which is what I take every day, 1,000 uh, milligrams of NMN. But this was around 250, so they were looking at um, sleep quality, um, fatigue, and muscle performance. I'm not going to go into the results they got from the sleep quality um, and the fatigue because these tests are um, the responses there. They do their results based on questionnaires. So they basically ask you a bunch of questions and that's how they determine. I don't like that because that can be determined by just the way a person feels. So to me, that's totally irrelevant. Um, you may just feel like you were more or less fatigued, feel like you slept better. So. I don't give that a lot of um, I don't give that a lot of meaning when it comes to that. So I'm gonna skip the results on that. They were not huge as far as the results, anyways. Um, they were very close to the placebo test group, meaning there wasn't a huge change, anyways. Um, the big one to me is the muscle performance test because this is not based on any type of survey. This is based on your physical. What can you do? So the one I'm gonna look at is the sit to stand test that they did. So that is basically again, you can't. You know, this is more of a you know, and out of how you feel, so which is very subjective to me, um, as my wife would say, her um, <laughs> work people are. So, but this one here was, um, so you got to stand. It's, it's like, you know, how many times you can stand in a certain amount of, um, in a minute, I think it is. So uh, we did have a, um, a little bit of, not huge, but we did have a significant difference on there. So the placebo test group, which um, if you don't know placebo in these double blind placebo trials, they give one group a pill because of the placebo effect, meaning if you get anything, you'll think you feel better, whatever. So the placebo group, which thought they were getting the real NMN, um, they actually, they had a 7%, around a 7% increase. So they measured it before taking the 12 weeks of NMN. So when they did it, they were able to do it, you know, such and such many, X amount of times. After the 12 weeks of taking the NM, they bought the placebo group back and they did it. And they were 7% quicker. So even the placebo group was 7% quicker. Now, the group that was actually taking the NMN was about 17% quicker. So it did show a significant uh, increase in their strength, their ability to get up and down um, on these older men. So that is a plus. It's not, again, I would have loved to seen the thousand milligrams. Well, maybe we could have got an even more significant uh, increase, but even there, a 17% increase, uh, which is 17% over the, you know, pe just somebody from where they started and, he, and, her, um, and as opposed to the 7% for the placebo. So that's significant there. Um, I just, again, just really wish they would have done a higher dosage. So I like to see this trial again, the higher doses, but this is the fourth NMN trial where we have gotten positive results as far as, especially on the strength and the performance muscle side of it, where there has been a significant notable increase in that. So, um, that's pretty much it for this time. Um, just making sure that I had everything on my notes that I wanted to cover there. Um, so, um, of course, there are more trials coming up. I will keep you updated on that. There is one on NR that I need to do a video on, too, um, where it does show that it was able to cross the blood brain barrier, um, the blood brain barrier. So it was able to get into the brain. So I will do. Um, I'll try and bring you guys a video on that. But as far as this one here, that's going to do it for it. Um, so bottom line results, we do see a significant increase in strength of older men in this 12 week human trial that we just got data back on. Please, everyone, if this was interesting to you, please, please hit that thumbs up button for me. So this is pushed out to more like minded people like us. Hit that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos and uh, share this if you would. And I would really appreciate it um, until the next time. Thank you very much for tuning in.